of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. As we begin our time of prayer this morning, let us prepare ourselves for these sacred mysteries by calling to mind our sins, to asking God for his forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you are the way that leads us to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the truth that sets us free. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you give us the gift of everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who shows a Father's care for all, granting your mercy that the members of the human race to whom you have given a single origin may form in peace a single family and always be united by a fraternal spirit. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. reading from the book of Sirach. Like a fire, there appeared the prophet Elijah, whose words were like a flaming furnace. The staff of bread he shattered, in his zeal he reduced them to straits. For the Lord's word he shut up in the heavens, and three times brought down fire. How awesome are you, Elijah, in your wondrous deeds! whose glory is equal to yours. You brought back a dead man to life from the netherworld by the will of the Lord. You sent kings down to destruction and easily broke their power into pieces. You brought down the nobles from their bed of sickness. You heard threats at Sinai, at Horeb, avenging judgments. You anointed kings who, could, who should inflict vengeance and a prophet as your successor. You were taken aloft in a whirlwind of fire, in a chariot of fiery horses. You were destined, it is written, in time to come, to put an end to the wrath before the day of the Lord and to re- reestablish the tribes of Jacob. Blessed is he who has seen you and who falls asleep in your friendship. For we live only our life, but after death our name will not be such, O Elijah, enveloped in the whirlwind. <clears throat> then Elisha, filled with the twofold portion of his spirit, brought many marvels by his mere word. During his lifetime he feared no one, nor was any man able to intimidate his will. Nothing was beyond his power, beneath his flesh was brought back to life. In life he performed wonders and after death marvelous deeds. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Rejoice in the Lord you just. Rejoice Rejoice in the Lord you just. The Lord is King, let the earth rejoice, let the many isles be glad. Clouds and darkness are around him, justice and judgment are the foundation of his throne. Rejoice Rejoice in the the Lord, Lord, you just. Fire goes before him and consumes his foes without doubt. His lightnings illuminate the world and the earth sees and trembles. Rejoice Rejoice in the the Lord, Lord, you just. The mountains melt like wax before the Lord, before the Lord of all the earth. The heavens proclaim his justice, and all peoples see his glory. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. All who worship graven things are put to shame, who glory in the things of naught. 
All gods are prostrate before him. Rejoice in the Lord, dear Gentiles. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, In praying, do not babble like the pagans, who think that they will be heard because of their many words. Do not be like them. Your Father knows what you need before you ask him. This is how you are to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. If you forgive others their transgressions, your heavenly Father will forgive you. But if you do not forgive others, neither will your Father forgive your transgressions. The Gospel of the Lord. Jesus teaches us to call God our Father. And we know Jesus used the term Abba, the intimate, kind of endearing term for God, signifying a tremendously close, bonded, and affectionate relationship. And would that all of us could grow in our own prayer to always feel not only that there is a God, that God created the world, and God has sent Jesus, his Son, to redeem us, but to feel that God is our Father in a loving and intimate way. And then that comes through, through our prayer. We are given the example of the Lord's Prayer today. The tradition in the church has been that uh, Christians pray the Lord's Prayer three times a day. So for priests, that's worked in. It's part of morning prayer and evening prayer and the assumption that the priest will have Mass every day. So a priest would always be praying the Lord's Prayer three times a day, but a good custom for us if we don't have that custom. To three times during the day, we have it at Mass, to, to just sit and, and prayerfully say the Lord's Prayer. Because we can sometimes get frustrated in our own prayer where we feel very distracted or we don't feel spiritually enlightened during our time of prayer. And Jesus is really... It's not the words, it's not how many words we use, it's not even really how we feel during prayer. It's that in our will, we desire to be close to God. And so we desire to pray. And so the words become less important, although certainly the words of the Our Father are each word expressing someone something very important for us. But that desire to be close to God, to be listening to God's voice. And so to move away, depending on how our own practices in life come, for we're moving from saying our prayers to praying, because they're not necessarily the same thing. To not just say our prayers, but to have the desire to, to listen to God's will, to become obedient to God's will. And lastly, because it was specially emphasized in the gospel reading by Jesus, that essence of forgiveness. That even as we pray to God, there is the push to look at our brothers and sisters and how we relate to them, to be able to be merciful so we can be shown mercy, to be able to forgive so that we can be forgiven.
Let us humbly turn to God now with our needs. For the Catholic Church throughout the world, that God will continue to guide us in bringing his word to life. Let us pray to the Lord. For the leaders of nations, may God guide them in upholding human dignity in policy and practice. Let us pray to the Lord. For all who are poor, hungry, or thirsty, may God show compassion upon their suffering and enliven the community to meet their needs. Let us pray to the Lord. For justice in our world and in our nation, the justice that brings about true peace for those who are struggling from illness and sickness, we pray to the Lord. For all those who have died, including the intention for this Mass for Monsignor Raul Sanchez and all the members of this community. May God grant them mercy and everlasting peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Let us offer our own petitions. For these, let us pray to the Lord. Our Father in heaven, hear these prayers we have offered today through your Son, Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the saving sacrifice of your Son, the King of Peace, offer under sacramental signs that signify peace and unity. Strengthen, we pray, O Lord concord among all your children, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. Lift up the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just that we should give you thanks and praise, O God, Almighty Father, for all you do in this world through our Lord Jesus Christ. For though the human race is divided by dissension and discord, yet we know that by testing us you change our hearts to prepare them for reconciliation. Even more, by your Spirit you move human hearts, that enemies may speak to each other again, adversaries join hands, and peoples seek to meet together. By the working of your power, it comes about, O Lord, that hatred is overcome by love. Revenge gives way to forgiveness, and discord is changed to mutual respect. Therefore, as we give you ceaseless thanks with the choirs of heaven, we cry out to your majesty on earth, and without end we acclaim, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. 
Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You, therefore, Almighty Father, we bless through Jesus Christ, your Son, who comes in your name. He himself is the word that brings salvation, the hand you extend to sinners, the way by which your peace is offered to us. When we ourselves had turned away from you on account of our sins, you brought us back to be reconciled, O Lord, so that, converted at last to you, we might love one another through your Son, whom for our sake you handed over to death. And now celebrating the reconciliation Christ has brought us, we entreat you, sanctify these gifts by the outpouring of your Spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, whose command we fulfill when we celebrate these mysteries. For when about to give his life to set us free, as he reclined at supper, he himself took bread into his hands, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way on that same evening, he took the chalice of blessing in his hands, confessing your mercy, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Celebrating, therefore, the memorial of the death and resurrection of your Son, who left us this pledge of his love, we offer you what you have bestowed on us, a sacrifice of perfect reconciliation. Holy Father, we humbly beseech you to accept us also together with your Son, and in this saving banquet, graciously to endow us with his very spirit, who takes away everything that estranges us from one another. May he make your church a sign of unity and an instrument of your peace among all people. And may he keep us in communion with Francis our Pope and Joseph our Bishop and all the bishops and your entire people. Just as you have gathered us now at the table of your Son, so also bring us together with the glorious Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and all the saints, with our brothers and sisters, and those of every race and tongue who have died in your friendship. Bring us to share with them the unending banquet of unity in a new heaven and a new earth, where the fullness of your peace will shine forth in Christ Jesus our Lord. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. 
graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I have not worthy that they should enter into my room, but I will say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Bestow on us, we pray, O Lord, the spirit of charity, so that sustained by the body and blood of your only begotten Son, we may be effective in nurturing among all the peace that he has left us, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And for those of you joining via our stream, we pray the prayer for spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. <laughs> 